Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and I'm here with your daily dust for Wednesday, April 18th, yes, if you're watching in real time, but it can be for whenever you stumble upon it. It is also a timeless reading. I like to do this daily reading, three cards, to get a collective general message for you. Um, it can represent lots of things, the specific energy of the day, very mundane, or it can be something broader and bigger. And the daily dust just represents magic, <laughs> just that special element. After you get the faith and the trust and the pixie dust, then this it's just this special element that comes through. I like to use a different deck every day as much as possible without repeating. And today we're using the Gregory Scott Tarot who Gregory Scott has his own channel and he does tarot and astrology. He's an excellent astrologer. He also does a daily reading and he sort of inspired me to do my own daily reading. So check him out. And also this is an amazing deck that he has. It's, it's pretty traditional, but there are some fun variations. And it's a collaboration with uh, Los Garbeo and Los Garbeo, Sometimes their uh, wording is kind of interesting, so it's fun. I also colored the edge of the deck myself, by the way. So you can get this on Amazon, though, and you can get it from his site as well. He had some autographed ones that I think are sold out. <clears throat> Maybe he'll bring them back again. I like to get that little back shuffle. All right, let's take three cards. We have five of wands, which is kind of like a mock battle. In this case, it it looks kind of like teacher training and training some kids, people. <laughs> oh, you know what it makes me think of? Um, monkey see, well, monkey see, monkey see, monkey do. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. You know, when you turn around and you turn back around. So it could be something about games. We have chariots. Very nice. Good energy here. And, whoa, the empress. I was eyeballing the empress. She was at, she was at the bottom of the deck before I shuffled, and now Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so there she is. Okay, let's zoom on in and see what else we get. The other one I was thinking about is Simon Says. Simon Says, tap your head. But if it, you know, then you say tap your head and you didn't say Simon Says, then you get, you're out of the game. Anyway, Five of Wands gives me sort of just it's it in this especially in this deck it doesn't give me quite the same kind of um combative energy it is about training it's a mock battle it could be like competition but in a light-hearted way not so much in a um a, a very violent way it's more of a it's just a way of dealing with challenges so it's i think that sometimes we have these kinds of things in school in a healthy way to help us deal with sportsmanlike things, challenges, the and break and rules and boundaries, and following things. And you can tell a lot about a person. <laughs> person stomps their feet and pouts when they lose or when they they made a mistake. They don't own up to it. A lot of things are discovered during these kind of fun games, right? This could be, um, a lot of you could be gamers out there just playing some some role play game maybe on online or anything like that. Um, but it's also about teamwork as well. And also, um, so in this respect, in this image, we're, sh we're showing like teammates, like smaller people and one big person. It's kind of like a David and Goliath energy. It's like if a bunch of smaller people team up together, maybe they can intim intimidate the bigger, the wolf. You know, the sheep can intimidate the wolf, possibly. If, if everybody's really coordinated and can figure out a way to put this big guy in its place. But I feel like, you know, 
the answer is yes, because there is this feeling like together we're, you know, stronger together. Even if it's a couple, you're better together than apart. If you're a group of friends, you're better working together than being divided. And you can, and if, you know, depending on who your enemy is, <laughs> like I, if it's your, even if it's within yourself, if it's your resistance within yourself, it, it's important to like be on your own side, you know, don't work against yourself. Don't work against your, your own good, but work with work your ego, your and your just mundane day-to-day -day daily self work with those higher parts of yourself but also it's about working with friends and family and and anybody else that's that <laughs> that you feel connected with i was laughing because i'm i'm about to sing in a choir so this doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing but can be something like that it's like you within a choir your parts each individual part make up the beautiful harmonious chord if you, you're it's not about competing against the person next to you and it's not trying to sound loud or it's trying to sound to blend in so the chord sounds very beautiful so that could be something that's going on here the chariot's all about uh, the kind of being righteous it's not might makes right but right makes might here we go again with the reversing of the <laughs> with that reversing of sayings you know sometimes instead of waiting for something to come to you it's your time for you to take that first step forward and just do it confidently um even if you don't you know don't think you're so confident or you don't think you have everything ready it's okay just do it anyway just imagine yourself confident and having it having yourself all together it's just a step anyway and then once you take this step i think all the doubts will kind of fall away you know everything will balance out and everything will feel fine the empress represents somebody who's just big and bold and beautiful and getting a lot of attention <laughs> in this case especially in this deck Empress, Empress is definitely the feminine energy, the divine feminine, the mother energy, the lover of nature and all things natural. And it, it feels like goddess energy too. So it's about just being, just being really being into yourself, you know, being, and okay, so some of you, I, I always feel the masculine and feminine in this, in the readings, I feel two parts to the read, you know, two people, two energies, a lot of times, most of my audience is female, so I'll talk to you sometimes as you, but I do know there's some masculines that watch, and and so the masculine, especially for the masculine, this could be your muse, you know. This doesn't necessarily have to be you. But even if it is you, don't th worry that there's a female here. There is always that feminine energy inside. But this particular feminine energy is representing confidence and surety. And you, you suit the thing that you are. In the light for you're in the light because it belongs to you because it's yours you didn't grab it out of greed or ego you it just sort of shone on you because you were there and you were good you know and you did it and you shined you know it's not like you're seek, searching the light this the light searches for you and lights you up so so it could be a lot of that it just feels like a very nice we got 444 four, four. it has a very nice 444 four, four represents the angels uh, watching over you so there's a lot of angelic energy here too there's there's this angel guidance energy kind of gently nudging you forward saying yes step into the light step into the spotlight basically you got this you you and this <laughs> And it could very well be part of, like you are part of a group, but you also are, have your time to shine where you step out of that group as well. So you also, you both work with the group and you step forward out of the group. You're one of a kind. You're more than just, just part of the masses. You are kind of a, 
a special one, a, a someone, you know? And so I think there's some um, higher energy here trying to help you towards seeing yourself in that light. All right? <laughs> well, I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Thank you.